Come in. You sent for me, sir? Oh, yes, yes. I've got to get over to the secretary's office right away with these project reports, Tom. Say, what, what is that one? What is that? Uh... Oh, that's the high-speed steam engine for the subchaser, sir. Well, I can read that. Yes, sir. It's the one the naval architects think will make them ten knots faster. Ten knots, ten. Oh, yes, yes. It wasn't uh, uh, speed that was the problem. It was how to get enough water. Yes, sir. They've developed a new condenser they think will take care of the problem. Well? Hmm? Oh, well, I've got a subchaser, sir, the PC-1168. We pulled her engines and put in the experimental job. We already have a crew of order in Norfolk. Well, didn't I get a full report on all that a week ago? Yes, sir. I, uh, I've been trying to get a commanding officer for her, so... What, that... for a PC? Well, what's holding it up? Well, it's a pretty tricky piece of machinery, sir. I wanted a line officer with some engineering experience. Oh, yes. I'd like to get a line officer with some engineering experience, too. Who wouldn't? It'd be an easier war. I know your problem, Tom, but the Secretary of the Navy is interested in this. So am I. You get a skipper aboard that PC. If you can get one with engineering experience, fine. If you can't, well, get a skipper. Now. Right now. Hey, you better get down to Norfolk and follow through on this, Tom. Yes, sir. Personnel. Pretty slim pickings. Yeah, we'll have to try this one. Yes, sir. Yes, this is it, Ellie. I wish you wouldn't... No tears this time. No? Uh -uh. I cried when you got your orders. I practically flooded the station when they sent you to New London. And it was a bit damp when you got transferred back to Washington. I'm about cried out. So now that I get sea duty, what are you going to do? Salute and walk away? Hardly. I'm a little worried, though, Johnny. Well, that's a help. No, really. A man your age on one of those little boats that... Ships. All right, ships. And what's this about my age? You sound as if I was 110. I got through my indoctrination all right, didn't I? Three months in a converted gymnasium. You don't know any more about ships than the man in the moon. Well, let me worry about that. But there is something I wish you would do, though. What? Is there any way of you getting out of the waves? getting out. I just got in. I know you did, but if I'm going to be on a ship for months, surrounded with nothing but uniforms, you... you well, you like to think of your wife in something... Yeah. Or, you know. Charlie, after seven years. Yes, after seven years. And I don't like the idea of you working around that recruiting station either. All those sailors. Sailors? Me? Johnny, you're jealous. Well, why shouldn't I be? Johnny, that's the nicest thing you ever said to me.
I'm looking for the PC-1168. You've got to have orders to get on this dock, sir. Well, all I have is a telegram. Extract order. That'll be OK, son. Find your ship right down there, sir. Water, we got a whole ocean full. Now get moving. Now we're getting some real Navy. Good morning. Lieutenant Harkness reporting aboard, Bosun. Yes, sir. The deck officer is in the wardroom, sir. Pull a hand. Get on the lieutenant's gear. I'll have it stowed in your quarters, sir, right this way. Your quarters, sir. What was you doing? Brushing away flies. Huh? The salute, the salute. You look like you had a busted arm. And that blouse. You told me I grow into it. What do you want from me? When contact is made with the sub, huh? Mm -hmm. Change course immediately to head directly for the sound contact. Look, we've been all over that. Can't you find something in there about what to do when this thing blows up? One of you gentlemen, the exec? Oh, I'm the executive officer, sir. Lieutenant Harkness reporting for duty. I have a telegram with an extract. Happy to see you aboard, Captain. Barron's the name, sir. Bill Barron. Base operations said you'd be aboard to take command. Take command? Yes, sir. This is Mr. Barbo, your engineering officer. Hello. And uh, Mr. Doris, supply officer. How are you, Captain? It's fully fair. Sir? I, nothing, nothing at all. I, it's nice to know you. Your first command, sir? Yeah, yes. Yeah. If you'd like, first sir, command. I'll show you to your quarters. Uh, your orders are there, sir. Uh, orders? Well, you said you just had the telegraphic excerpt right down this passageway, sir. Your quarters here, sir. I, uh, I left the orders right on the desk there. <laughs> We're sort of anxious to find what this is all about. <laughs> so am I. Sir? I, I said, um, I said thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, yes, sir. Here, sir. I brung it myself so as one of them jerks wouldn't lose it. Thanks. Thanks, Bosun. Name's Larrabee, sir. May I welcome you to the ship, sir? Well, thank you, Larrabee. Uh, it seems like a nice ship. You've never been on one of these, have you, Captain? Well, I, no, no, I haven't. I knew it. The minute I see you come down that gangplank, I knew it. I suppose it was pretty obvious. I've never been on one, neither. Eighteen years in and nothing smaller than a cruiser. They took me off the Roanoke to put me on this. You ever been on a Roanoke, sir? No, no, I haven't. A fine ship. I thought we might have some mutual acquaintances, sir. Just between you and me, sir. 
I don't think you're gonna like this. Wait till you see that thing in the engine room. Yeah? I was gonna put in for a transfer myself. Now, don't get me wrong. It ain't I gotta split quarters with the chief engineer or we got no regular chief's mess, nothing. With a war on us, regulars gotta take what comes. But with a crew like this... Well, haven't they got any experience? Experience? They're all civilians, the whole gang of them. I know you noticed it when you came aboard, sir, but that ain't the half of it. A stupider lot of misfits, untrained soda joints I never did see, and I'm supposed to train them. And that ain't all. More? More. Begging your pardon, sir, but your officers, all 90-day wonders. Oh, no. Yep. College kids, an advertising guy. There ain't none of them got more than two or three months' experience. Well, they all seem to be pretty eager. Oh, they're eager, all right. That exec officer, he likes to drive me nuts with his practice drills all week. Well, I suppose that's what you got to put up with, with a war. You know, like I said, I was going to put him for a transfer. But I never let the Navy down yet. Well, look, uh, I wouldn't tear up that transfer. Sir? Not until we clear up a little misunderstanding. You see, I'm not regular Navy. Just another 90-day one. But that? Annapolis? Ah, Rutgers, an engineering school. And to date, I, I haven't had any sea duty. But they, they can't do that. Can I get you an aspirin? No, sir. Have I the captain's permission to leave, sir? No. Now, look. There's no sense in getting started off this way, Larrabee. I'm going to have to have a lot of help. And I... This door, sir. Now, there's an officer on the dock, sir. He wants to see the captain. Are you the captain of this ship? Why, uh, well, are you or aren't you? Yes, sir. Then get it out of here. I've had a ship standing by for now, waiting for this berth. But, sir, I'm, I'm under orders not to move this ship until instructed by the port commander. I'm the port commander, and I'm ordering you to move this ship. Yes, sir. How long will it take to be ready to get underway, Borson? Well, if you're asking, Captain, I'd say about six months. But I'm not asking. I'm telling you. The watch officer, mister? Yes, sir. Then stand by to cast off. And send the executive officer to the bridge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can't just take off without any You heard the order, didn't you, Bozen? We're getting underway. And if you're nervous about it, you have my permission to conduct the abandoned ship drill immediately after we do. Yes, sir. Man, I'm telling you, the way he chewed out that bosun was a work of art. Oh, he's real crusty. Yeah. He ought to love the way you guys run this ship. Don't you think we ought to tell him we're a little green? Oh, no, no, no. But, but I'm not a very good sailor. Look, if you tell him, will it make you feel any better? Let him find out for himself. <coughs> Relax. Do you know where Pinto Dock is? Pinto, uh... uh yes, right across the base. Fine, that's where we're going. Aye, aye. Bridge there. Can you get us out of here? Well, I haven't had much experience. They can't shoot me for trying. Captain! Don't be too sure. Captain! Captain! Yes, sir? You've had ten minutes, Captain. Now, are you going to move this ship out of here, or am I going to have to come aboard and do it for you? Moving out immediately, sir. <clears throat> Stand by to cast off. Yes, sir. 
Set the special C detail. Get out of line. Cast off the stern line. Cast off the stern line. Cast off the bow line. Cast off the bow line. Cast off number two line. Cast off number two line. Come on, come on. Starboard engine, one third ahead. Yes, sir. Victor, give me one blast on the ship's whistle. Get us out of here, quick. The engine won't turn over, sir. We'll, we'll find out. Why? Well, uh, the engine, sir, won't turn over. Why not, mister? Why, uh... Find out! Fast! Yes, sir. I heard you. Well, the captain's coming down himself. Maybe he can make some sense out of this monster. What's happening here? We've got to get moving. I wish I knew. Are you the chief? Yes, sir. Ryan, sir. What seems to be the trouble, Ryan? You mean now, sir? Certainly, I mean now. Engines won't spin, sir. They won't do anything except make that racket. What's your pressure? 550, sir. Boiler temperature, 1400. Throttle crack the one-third ahead. Nothing happened, sir. Why not? I wouldn't know, sir. What do you mean you wouldn't know? You're the chief, aren't you? Yes, sir. 16 years, sir. All in diesel. This is steam. I ain't seen a steam engine since... I know I... this is steam. There's nothing very complicated about a steam engine. No, sir. But this one ain't human. Boiler. Superheater. There's your main steam line coming out there. Yes, sir. Over there, through there, and into the turbine. What's this? Bypass valve, sir. The manual says it must be open when the boiler is fired. That's a safety factor, Captain. The book says... You should have read further. You've got your steam going around in circles and doing you? nothing. Skipper, it's a safety factor. That's live steam. You've got to get this ship out of here. Just as easy tied them together. That ain't the Navy way. The Navy way? That's all that bosun thinks of is the Navy way. Right after we run into that flat top, wasn't the time to get smart with them. Ah, so we busted a couple of plates. So what? It's like that in the fender, ain't it? What's... Hey! 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 Look, crazy swami, what are you trying to do? So what? Are you set fire? So what? What are you trying to do? Set fire to the ship? Yeah, and what do you care? You ain't on it. If there are any more cigarette butts over the side, bubblehead, I'll come up there and tear you apart. You and who else, you slug? Yes. Now what are we getting, an admiral? He's a commander. Can't you see the three stripes? Who counts? Well, here's a report on damage to the carrier. 
What about backing into the dock? Got all made up, Skipper. Why are you so sir? Hey, Chuck, this ought to interest you. The Navy medics are working on a cure for seasickness. Yeah? Mm -hmm. well, what do they say? Nothing. They're just working. If this keeps up, I'll be looking for a cure myself. Well, you can always call the auto club. Very funny. Particularly as I'm liable to be spending the rest of my life in the Navy paying for this thing. Hey, maybe we'll all get relieved. I doubt it. I'd just like to know who the idiot was who made up the complement of this ship. I'm one of the idiots who had something to do with it. Now, what were you going to say, mister? Nothing, sir, nothing at all. You seemed pretty sure of yourself a minute ago. You must have had something on your mind. Go ahead. Well, sir, I've had no practical experience in seamanship, nor nor have my other officers. From what I hear, that's pretty obvious. Well, yes, sir, but you're, you're officers, please. aren't you? You've all been through indoctrination programs. Yes, sir. You all have a college education. Yes, sir. Well, the Navy's given you stripes and expects you to use them. Your men are green, train them. If you don't know something yourself, find out. Yes, sir. Plain men are scarce these days. If they wanted it to be an easier war. Now, was there anything else? No, sir. All right, then. Get down the case. Now, you've already been informed that this vessel is a secret project. Here's the reason why. These are the working plans of this experiment. You no doubt noticed that your engines were a little unusual. We sure did, uh, sir. In case you haven't noticed, the engine installed in this ship is high-pressure superheated steam. It's not only an economical engine, but with it, the naval architects expect this to be faster and more maneuverable than any subchaser afloat. Hey, that's terrific. What's terrific, mister? Well, I mean, inventing a steam engine for this thing. Mister, for your information, the steam engine was invented in 1765 by Mr. James Watt. And with the exception that we superheat the steam and use triple distilled water, this is no different from any other steam engine. I imagine that uh, Mr. Barron was talking about the speed, sir. May I ask a question? Well? Can a ship of this size carry enough water to go any place? No, it can't. Good. Well, I mean, it seems kind of silly. To Mister, me. if it was silly, the Navy wouldn't be interested in it. Water happens to be the whole key to this problem. And you better start learning right now that every drop of it's precious. Yes, sir. Ship this size couldn't carry enough water to run a half a day, particularly speed. That's why the Naval Architects came up with this. Now, it's a combined evaporator condenser unit. It takes in the seawater, evaporates the salt out, triple distills it, and replaces it in the system as fast as it's lost in operation. Except for fuel, this is a self-sustaining unit. Well, that sounds simple as rolling off a log. Well, it's not, mister. And for your information, the Secretary of the Navy's interested in this, Admiral Tennant's interested in it, and I'm interested in it. And that's the reason why this ship will start trial runs the minute she's out of dry dock. We're behind schedule now. Well, yes, sir. When will you take over, sir? Me? Command this? What? Mister, the Navy's interested in several thousand projects beside this one. Anyway, you were particularly selected for it. Me, sir? Well, you hold an engineering degree from Rutgers, don't you? Yes, sir, in hydroelectric. That's how you got your rank, Harkness. You better be able to use it. But, sir, I got out of Rutgers 18 years ago. And in the meantime, you've completely forgotten about the operation of steam engines. No, sir, I haven't. Well, then you won't have any trouble with this. I it. knew it. I know it all the time. You knew what? Well, sir, it is confined steam we're working with. That's like liquid gunpowder. Uh -huh. But in case you hadn't heard, mister, there is a war on. Steam is dangerous, so is gunpowder, but not if you handle it correctly. And if you're that worried about it, you better get around here and pay particular attention while we go through this. But, sir, I haven't got an engineering degree. Then you better pay very close attention.
think it's going to work. Are you kidding, Skipper? This is a most What's the matter with you? They say it affects the inner ear, a sense of balance or something. The window is 32 knots, sir. Huh? Are we on land or water? Hey, I hear something. What? Don't you hear something funny? Funny? Sounds hysterical to me. Little swell, huh? Well, I was adding you an old salt. What are you eating? Salami. It's good. Salami? I'll let Mr. Doran see you. No, he's crazy. That seasick stuff is all in your head. Hey, Skipper! The pressure has gone down and the heat's gone up! Hey! What's the matter? I don't know. I think I'm going blind. It's the lights and that salami. Well, what's the matter with it? How should I know? What am I, an electrician? I got enough trouble being a helmsman. Hey, 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 kid! The water's carried over to the generator! Where are you going from there? Neat, huh? Now, we get a couple of cans of soup, and we're off. Is that thing liable to blow up, too? I thought these were army jungle issue. Well, look, it's here, ain't it? And it'll cook soup, oh, won't it? Wonderful, love it, dear soup. What's the matter? I don't know. I don't think that soup's a very good idea. Well, I do. I'm starved. On top of everything else, we got a mess officer who'll get seasick. I can't understand what happened to that water. Wasn't that condenser working at all? I don't know. It was making enough noise to be doing something. Able to get a radio message out. No, sir. Our signal's too weak with the hand generator. Nobody's picking us up. Great. No communications. No power, no light. Uh, what's the what's the crew doing about food? They're all right, sir. I've got the cook making some sandwiches. What about a drift? I put out a sea anchor, sir. It'll cut it down. Cut it down? So we pile up on the rock slower? Oh, no. We wouldn't run aground. I checked. The Gulf Stream's carrying us out. The Gulf Stream? Hey, there's submarines out there. Look out, reports the ship, Captain. What do you think she is, Larrabee? It's an armed tanker, sir, running for Newport News without convoy. You think we can get a signal to her? She'd never stop in these waters, sir. With all that gas, she'd be a sitting duck. Well, maybe we can get her to relay a message for us. We just can't sit here drifting. Oh, we won't drift far, Skipper. The current out here in the stream is only about three knots. Well, that's fine. We'll be in Ireland in a couple of months. Either that or we'll be the first sub-chaser ever captured by a submarine. We're not getting captured by anybody. Come on, Tony. I better secure this Noah's Ark for the night. He's crazy. I bet if we got a signal out to him, he'd give us a tow. Yeah, and if not, we'd just sit here and roll all night long. Hey. I picked up a couple of signal lamps in the signal core the other day. Maybe the we signal could... core? What a pack rat. Look, I'm what? only trying to help. Hey, that's wonderful. Where are they? They're down here. Putting on enough power, sir. They're not listening on the channel. I can't get a rise out of them. Forget it. Oh, no, Lee, look, Skipper, let's just give it one more try, huh? Relax, relax, Tony. All you'll get is a heart attack. We'll have to wait for daybreak. 
Come on, I want to post an extra security lookout. Uh, you don't need to. I won't sleep. Okay, you better hold the battery. Don't you think we ought to tell the captain first? Hold it. I'll have us under tow before he knows it. SOS. Da 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 did it did or did it did da da da. Da 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 did it did. Okay. On the bow. What's going on here? Oh, uh, we were just uh, signaling the tanker, Captain. Signaling? Yes. You idiot! Don't you know there's a blackout on the whole coast? Get down out of there. Oh, wait a second. Skipper, look! They're answering! Well, what did you send them? A challenge? Watch it! What are they saw at? In case you hadn't heard, that's an arm tanker. Fortunately, they're probably scared to death of us. Why? Ireland, here we come. Close that port, will you? What's the latest from those comedians? Just a second, Skipper. Urgent. Would you prefer to wait for darkness before proceeding up channel? Very funny. Tell them to... Tell them no. Say, where's the boat? And that tow line doesn't look so secure to me. He's locked in his quarters, Skipper. You won't come out. You won't come out? What is this? That's the Roanoke Skipper. It's his old ship. Oh. Well, I, I don't blame him. I wonder if he's got room down there for one more. Commander Reynolds just came aboard. Reynolds? Where is he? He headed for the engine room, and he didn't look very happy. Your chief. Fire room log, sir. Steam drum pressure, 580. Superheated steam temperature, 1700. Fuel oil pressure to burn is 25. Fuel oil temperature to burn is 175. Water, 170. Well, that's normal. Were these your readings when she blew? Well, uh, no, sir. That'd be about 20 minutes before. Yeah, I thought so. Well, the drum pressure went down to 480 and the steam temperature up to 1850. 1850? Didn't you know if you ran at that heat, something had to go? Yes, sir. Then why didn't you cut the burners? Well, I couldn't. You know you could be broken for this? Yes, sir. Then why didn't you lower the heat? He I didn't lower the heat because I didn't tell him to, sir. He was following my orders. And I believe it's customary for me to answer questions pertaining to the conduct of my ship. You're quite right, Captain. I'm sorry, Chief. You understand, of course, that even though this equipment is experimental, the Navy could hold you responsible for it. Yes, sir. They might have trouble proving whether it was negligence or plain stupidity. 
But it was my understanding that you had a slightly more than rudimentary knowledge of steam engineering. I have, sir. I'm delighted to hear it, because you'll have plenty of opportunity to prove it. There'll be another boiler placed in this ship and another series of tests scheduled. There'll be no liberty until a successful run is made. And you'll continue the tests until they are a success. From what I've seen, that may be some time. I don't think so, sir. Uh -huh. Well, good luck, mister. I walked right into that one, didn't I? Just when I thought we might get off of this time bomb. You think we can make it work, Chief? I don't know, sir. Well, we can try, can't we? Yes, sir. Well, get at it. Come on, Tony, let's get this thing mapped out. All right, come on, you guys. Let's clean up this mess. Come on, get out. did on the 17th of May, willfully attack Seaman Morrison Martell, Seaman Apprentice Evans, and storekeeper Olson with his fists and with such violence as to place Seaman Jennings in the ship's sick bay. Now, Wasilowski, what have you got to say for yourself? Nothing, Captain. Nothing? You beat up four men, you put one of them in sick bay, and you've got nothing to say? They, they said I'd take a bat in it to still water. I didn't take no bat in it. I told them it evaporates. They said it don't evaporate that fast. I said it evaporate that fast on this ship. Now look, Wasilowski. A lot of big brass have said things like that to me, and worse. But I didn't go out and take on the whole Navy Yard, understand? Yes, sir. All right. Now I'll let you off with 10 hours extra duty this time. But if I hear of you evaporating, if I hear of any more trouble on this. What are you talking about? Oh, you hey! Shot you! Get it out! Get out of here, Chief! Come on, climb on! Bring it out! Hey, break that up! Now get to your quarters and stay there. Light send for you. Go on. Barbie, come here with him. Yes, sir. All right, Wasilowski, you can go. Yes, sir. I want to talk to you, Chief. Yes, sir. Will you shut the door? Every time I turn around on this ship, there's a fight. And don't look so pious. I understand you two have had a go at it yourselves. Look, I want to know what to do with this crew. What's the answer? Liberty, that's the answer, sir. They've got to have that's a liberty. That's right, sir. They've got to blow off some of this steam. They've been on this can for two months. You heard Commander Reynolds. No liberty till we make a successful run. Why, that could take four years. There's guys in that shipyard making a whole career out of fixing this monster. But this this is a secret project. Secret? <laughs> some secret. The whole base lines up in cheers every time we get towed in. I know they need a liberty, but... Uh, the only thing is for you to go right to the base commander, sir. If it's sir. a ship's morale, he's got to give it to you, Captain. Uh, tell him you can't take the responsibility for the efficiency of no, this no, crew no, unless... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did you two do? Rehearse this? Oh, oh no, no, sir. no, sir. Nothing like that. I should that. say not. No. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll think about it. Unfortunately, the ship's laundry's broken down along with the rest of the engine, and I haven't even got a clean uniform to, to go up against the base commander. I thought about that, sir, and I, I, I put a couple of the boys to work. That could be your laundry now, sir.
Johnny. Oh, Johnny, it's so good to see you. Yeah? Who is that joker? Who? Who, Bill? Just one of the boys. Johnny, you look wonderful. No. No, you don't. You look a little worried. Worried? Me worried? What have I got to be worried about? I was happy You look as... worried. Well, I'm not. Uh, can we go inside? Sure. Now, do you mind telling me just what you're doing here? What do you mean, what I'm doing? I'm working. Secretary to the captain. How about that? Secretary to the captain? Mm-hmm. Ellie, you don't know anything about being a secretary. Well, now, what do you know about boats? Ships. But never mind that. Just how, how did you get this job? Actually, it was the biggest stroke of luck ever. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I came in as a fire clerk. Then one day, Danny, uh, that's Captain Elliot, he needed somebody in a conference in a hurry. So I went in, and here I am. And the uh, commission went with it, huh? Just turned on the charm, and there you were. Mm -hmm. Captain, secretary. Oh, and lucky for you, too. I've seen Commander Reynolds report on your trial run. You too? That is supposed to be a secret project. How do you know about it? Well, I'm the captain's secretary. He's the base commander. Everything goes through Captain Elliot's office. After it goes through Captain Elliot's secretary. OK, I, I give up. Well, now, uh, do you think I can see your boss? What for? Because. I want to see him about some liberty for my men. From the reports I've seen, you're the one that needs some time off. No, no. Look, I I'm in trouble enough without... Trouble? Are you in trouble? No, I'm not, but... Uh, look, if you're mad, and he's mad... I'm not mad. All right, darling, you're not. But he is. Let me get him in the mood first. What do you have to do? Sit on his lap? Uh-uh. Too fat. I just chuck him under the chin. Just remember, it's their first liberty. And the minute they hit the ship, I want you to hustle them below. I don't want no hooting and hollering on the deck. Mr. Dorrance will be on duty. But I don't want you bothering him unless you really need him. Well, well, what's the matter with you? I don't know anybody in this town. Shore Patrol brings anybody in who wants to make any trouble. Just call me before you do it. What? What's in that? Ice cream? Ice cream? It ain't even 9 o'clock yet, and that's practically the last of them now, coming back with their tails between their legs. Half the starboard watch don't even want to go. No, this is a new kind of Navy, Chief. These men aren't your old-time sailors. They got different backgrounds. New different points kind of, of Navy. Got... Begging your pardon, sir, but they're men, ain't they? The ordinary guy puts in two months on a ship, he goes out and he raises some sand. But to these guys, the rest of the base blows them a bird about the tea kettle, so what do they do? Choose them? Belt somebody over the head with a beer bottle? Nah, not these guys. They come running home to Mama with writing paper and ice cream. Oh, no, wait a second. Forget You're it, not... Bill. The Bowden's right. They look like Coxey's army. Say, how come you didn't go ashore with your watch, Larry? Me? With the Roanoke in, sir? Well, I wouldn't be able to... Well, uh, my back has been a little off, yeah. sir. Yeah. Take that list. Throw me rotten. 
your battleship show to get going. Don't you stop making no cracks, bright eyes, or I'll belt you, too. What'd you do it for, Norelli? I told you if you didn't get out of that joint, there'd be trouble. Well, they were such a smart bunch of punks, like... Oh, let me alone! Let me alone! I don't know why I did it. Well, come on! Get away! I'm coming aboard this bucket by myself. There's a sailor. And has repeatedly failed to complete its mission. Inefficiency and lack of morale are contributing factors to these failures. They will no longer be tolerated by this command. The PC-1168 is being ready for another trial run. No excuses will be accepted for failure to complete this run successfully. This communication will be read to the officer complement of the PC-1168 and displayed prominently for the enlisted men. W.R. Reynolds, Commander, you would... Oh, Reynolds, what's eating that guy? Well, he's just a pusher. The Secretary of the Navy pushes the Admiral, the Admiral pushes Reynolds... Yeah, Reynolds... he pushes us, but, but yeah, good. But what's he always harping on morale for? Because it's he... true. We haven't got any. We're the joke of the base, and you can't take pride in a joke, no matter how, how, how funny it is. It's not our fault that that jigsaw puzzle in the engine room won't work. They want it to work, and they think they put well, a bunch of... Non stop kidding ourselves. It's up to us to make it work. But we can't do it without a crew. Post that on the board, will you, Chuck? Yeah, that's going to be a great help to morale. What else can we do? We've had entertainment. We run classes. We, we, we had contests. Yeah, that checker we... tournament. That was a great idea. What would you do? Run a burlesque show? Well, it'd be a better idea than that Mahjong hey, contest. You... Let's, let's drop it. Say, w would this mean anything? Boxing, base championship for the Seaman's Fund. The base is giving a boxing benefit, and they want entries from all the ships. Hey, I'll go for that. I was on the boxing squad at college. Well, who did you ever lick? Oh, well, well, I was ineligible, but... Yeah, well, you're lucky. You're still ineligible. This is for enlisted men. Nobody on this ship can punch his way out of a wet paper Look, bag. Look, out of 52 men aboard, there's got to be yeah, somebody well, knows how to defend them. there is, I don't know. Look, what about Norelli? No, no, he's too small. Hey, about Wasilewski, the guy that took on the four fellas in the engine Wasilewski? Why didn't I think, hey, he ought to be able to lick his weight in pig iron. You think the crew will get behind something sure, like this? Sure, we don't force it on him, but we let him think it's their idea. Oh, oh, it's a terrific guy, Wasilewski. I know he can punch, but can he defend himself? Well, he's got it. I'll do it, I'll teach him. Oh, brother, when I get to... Hey, I got a right cross, but... Wait for the bell. with a few fundamentals, huh? What do you say? Let's get a little balance into it now. Come on, up on the balls of your feet. Get your weight evenly distributed on both legs. That's the boy. Now, you feel it a little there? A little balance? All right, now get your guard up. Get that left foot out there, up on the balls of your feet. That's the boy. Get the left up, the right up. Hold the right in close. Head in, chin down. That's the boy. Now, when you throw your left, put your body into it. Can you feel that now? Try that. Come on, come on. Let's see you try it. Come on, throw your body into it. That's the boy. That's the boy. Throw it a little faster. Make it count. Make it count. That's the boy. All right, Wazaloo. A few left right in the glove. Atta boy. Harder. Atta boy. Now let's try that right. All right. How else? Sit down, Norelli. We learned something. Keep the left up. That's what it's for. 
It's all right. You'll get it. Two more left. Got a boy. Steamed up about it, sir. No doubt about it. You know what I think he can win for him. You know I think so too. What about it, Bill? Huh? What about the fight? Oh, I'm glad I was ineligible. <laughs> Can I speak to you, sir? The run hasn't run it. It's about Wasilewski, sir. The boys are pretty excited about it. I don't know why he's got half of them in sick bay from being used as sparring partners. Oh, boy, it's like Lewis. I mean, don't the captain think so, sir? He looks like he can break a door down without gloves, doesn't he? Yes, sir. Well? Well, you see, like I said before, sir, the boys are pretty excited about him. They don't like to get a little dough down. I mean, like a vet, sir. Well, I thought this was for charity. Well, you know, sir, charity begins at home. Wasilewski is a shoe -in. Well, I guess it's all right with me, yeah. But, but, sir, that ain't exactly what I mean, sir. The guys kind of figured that you'd get the bet down for him. Me? Well, you're the only one who can get off the ship, sir. So? Well, there's a yeoman in the signal section there, name of Whitey. He's booking the fights. Uh-huh. Now, this guy wants to lay seven to five, but don't let him get away with it. Any time it's play or pay, it's at least eight to five. And if you pull a little rank, you might be able no, to get... No, really. Just what makes you think I'm going to see this Whitey at all? Oh, but, sir, this is for the honor of the ship, and we thought that you and the other officers would want it. You ain't gonna let us down, are you, Skipper? Well, as long as it's just a matter of a few dollars. Huh? Well, that's all, just so as they can't say the tea kettle is a pike. All right. This is just short of 18 yards here, sir. $1,800? Well, most of the guys got allotments and bonds and stuff. It's the best they could do, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, Chief! Yes, sir. Orders from the base. Oh, oh, sailor. Yes, sir. Are you going back to the base? Yes, sir. You know a fellow named Whitey? Whitey? Yes, sir. Everybody knows Whitey. Uh, I'll give him this. From the ship. Uh, he'll understand. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, sailor. Yes, sir. Tell him I said we wanted eight to five and no monkey business. Yes, sir. Pull ahead, you bet 30 at eight to five, right? That means you get 48. That's right. Lee, you bet 60. Yeah. Well, I see you're counting your money, yeah. huh? Yours too, Chief. Let's see, you bet 50, huh? At 8 to 5, you ought to get... Look, kid, before you run out of fingers, I got a little news for you. We run another trial on the 12th. 12, 12, 13, who cares? You don't care? But it just happens to be the day that Wasilewski fights. Yeah. Hey, oh, wait a minute. we run out of water again, there ain't gonna be no fight. No, really, you mallet head. What is that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me think. All right. Nobody takes a bath, see? Nobody drinks no water and nobody brushes their teeth. That ain't no good, Norelli. Look, if this guy don't fight, we don't get no dough. I lose too, don't I? Now let me think. You better do more All than he just wants think. Always think. Oh, 
steam is hot enough to cut you in half. Well, son, looks like you've got about four broken ribs. Well, well can you put more, more tape on them or something, Doc? I got a fight tonight. Fight? And shove one of those ribs through a lung? Look, son, you're going to base hospital. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Skipper. I could lick that guy, too. I never should have went on that. Get it. It's not that important. We'll catch him the next time, huh? Say, Doc, the boys with the stretcher here. Tell them to come in, will you? Yes, sir. Foreman? Hey, Mr. Barbo! Well, why don't you take Tommy Morris over there? He was the best of the sparring partners. Morris? Maybe. That's a terrific idea, Wasilusi. Yeah. Say, fellas, yeah. do you mind? So now, don't forget. You, you do that. Corman. Hey, Tony. What about Morris? Can he fight? He'll get killed. What do you mean? He's not that bad. He'll get murdered. Well, I guess it's the only thing we can do. Well, if he hasn't got a chance, why, why bother? Look, it's, it's play or pay, Captain. Now, I think that we, the crew, ought to get some kind of show for their money. Well, that way they'll lose both their money and the fight. Well, the other guy could always get a heart attack. Skipper, the ship is cleared for liberty, sir, and they want you over at the base right away. Reynolds. Well, you, you better try Morse. This is one time Reynolds can't get sore. How much do you want to bet on that? I'll take half that bet. If the skipper ever finds out, we brung this water on him. He's going to find out. Hurry up. Hey, what's going on there? Come on. Come on. Hey, what are you men doing there? Good evening, sir. Hmm? Oh, Harkness, what are you doing here? Well, didn't you send for me, sir? I? Well, no. I should have, though. We finally made it, huh? Wonderful, Lieutenant, wonderful. I'm delighted. 
Yes, sir, but... No uh, buts about it, Lieutenant. You put the ship through her paces, and frankly, I never expected it. Not this soon, that is. Uh, did you have any water left? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Well, I want sir. to talk you, to you, you too, but I'm late for a meeting now. Maybe later, huh? Yes, sir, but you see... Why, Johnny, what a surprise. Uh -huh. How did you get here? I had an idea Commander Reynolds wanted to see me. Oh. He didn't. You did. Why? Okay. You're so smart. I wanted to see you so we could have dinner and celebrate. Celebrate? Yes, celebrate. I knew if I didn't get you off that ship, you'd stay there and invent a new law of physics. Ellie, uh, I don't feel like... You will. Because I've got something to tell you. What? First, take that sour look off your face. Stop acting like I was asking you to spend the evening at Mother's. Well, I kind of like your mother. How about me? Oh, uh, Captain. Captain Elliot, this is John. Lieutenant Harkness, he's my husband. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Good evening, mister. Good evening, sir. I compliment you on your choice of a wife, sir. A highly efficient officer. Thank you, sir. So efficient that I find she needs no help from me in issuing orders concerning my officers on shipboard. I'm sorry, sir. No, there's no need to be. It's about time she was getting a rest from this office. If I were you, I'd take her to dinner tonight. There's a dance at the officers' club. Oh, how nice. But, sir, the uh, fights are tonight. Fights? Harkness, have you ever seen any amateur fights? No, sir, I haven't, but there's, there's a boy from our ship. Is he any we... good? Well, no. Well, then don't be an idiot. I have to go. I have to referee him. Ellie, you tell the duty omen, will you? Sure. Good night. Good night, Danny, and thanks. Captain Elliot will be at the auditorium, Benny. I'll be home for a while, then at the officers' club. Danny, ain't that cute? Danny, boy. Come on. What are we going home for? We'll be late for dinner as is. I want to change. Change into what? Just change. Take a shower. Freshen up. No. Change. Oh. You sure smell better than an engine room, even in a uniform. Bladder. You were going to tell me something. What was it? Hmm? Oh, yes. It's been a terrific evening so far. This better not be a letdown. Oh, no. This is wonderful. Admiral Tennant came down from Washington this afternoon. Wonderful. He came down to find out about the tea kettle. And when he heard about the trial, he was delighted. Oh, fine. Where did he find so out So delighted about the... that he's bringing the trial board out personally on Wednesday for the official sea trial. Official sea trial? Shh. El... You weren't supposed to know about it till tomorrow. Look, there he is now. Uh, Admiral, this is my wife. How do you do? Who? Admiral Tennant. I met him this afternoon. He's very nice. Come on. I'll introduce you to him. Hey, hey, Ellie, come here. What's the matter? You've got to get out of here, quick. Sir, there's a table over here. Oh, that's the fight, sir. Must be some sailor getting a way beat out of him. I can't imagine who. What did you like, Ellie? Oh, nothing, sir. Bring me a whiskey and soda. I'm gonna need it. Johnny, what is this? You look like a frightened rabbit. I'm frightened, all right. Ellie, the tea kettle can't pass a test. Official C or anything else. But you just ran one this afternoon. Oh, no, we didn't. At least... At least I don't think we did. Look, so that we'd be back in time for one of our boys to be in those fights over there, uh, a couple of my sailors smuggled extra distilled water aboard. How much, I don't know. Or, or how much we used, I don't know. Are you sure there isn't a chance that... Ellie, there's only one thing I'm sure of. You, you, you can't do anything without a crew. And, uh, and after tonight, the morale of the tea kettle will be so low, you won't be able to find it. We even had to put a substitute in those fights. Johnny, and... 
You're going to have to run the trial. I know it. I guess I might as well face it. None of us will get sea duty after this. We'll be lucky if sea we duty. don't. Well, sure. Did you? I mean, can I? Thank you, sir. Thank you. What is it, Ellie? Oh, I don't know. You want sea duty, don't you, Johnny? What did you think would happen if we passed the trial? You're an engineer. I thought maybe a desk job. You know, some other test project. Recruiting in Iowa? Ellie, I, I don't quite know why I should want it either, why any of us should, but you start something and you, you understand it, don't you, Ellie? I guess I should, I'm, I'm old enough. I guess I should have known it all along. Look, Ellie, there are about four million wives of guys in the service in the same spot you're in. I suppose so, Johnny, but they're not real people to me. They're, they're just big, fat numbers like the income tax or you know, how many miles to the moon. All I can think of is us. That's all I want to think of. You just go right on thinking that. I like it. Contestants ready? The boys are coming up, sir. Hey, what's the Come on, you guys. We're out with... Oh, he don't want to fight. It ain't that, sir. I, I ain't never done anything like this before. I don't know what to do. I don't feel good. Morse, come on. You're not going to back out on us. You're not going to let the old tea kettle down, boy. Morse, you're not afraid. With a gun, no. With these... Yes. But, Morse, this, this is for the tea kettle, D don't you think? Atta boy! You think you can rake it, huh? You think you want to take a crack at it? I think I'm going to be sick, sir. You mean Morse? Morse? No, no, not Morse. Morse Wasilewski. Wasilewski. What? What do you mean? Yeah, that's me. I fought under his name. I know I shouldn't have done it, but, well, it was his bright idea. I told him he was Polish. Couldn't talk any English. Ooh, what a fight. Hey, Skipper, do you think that they'll court-martial me for it? I wouldn't have done it, except that, well, those guys haven't had much to crow about for a long time now. Look, now. I only know one thing. I know we got a crew. Tony, if you didn't have a split lip, I'd, I'd kiss you. <laughs> Ship's company, all prisoner accounted for, sir. At ease. Ship's company, at ease. I've heard some scuttlebutt that you men gambled on the fight the other night. I couldn't believe that the crew of the tea kettle would bet on a sure thing. But I'm very pleased to hear from the chief that the PC-1168 made a sizable contribution to the Siemens Fund. At uh, eight to five, I think it amounted to about $4,500. Now I have something more serious. As you know by now, Extra distilled water was added to the ship the other day. I know why it was done. 
but it made it impossible to calculate whether we could have made the run or not. And because of that, I don't know if we can make the run today or not. But there is one thing I do know, that every single man on this ship will be trying. Attention on deck! Elliot, what about him? He's the one that refereed the fight. Hold it. Get below and stay out of sight. Maximum effort, Captain. Maximum effort, sir. Captain. Still maximum effort, Captain. Maximum effort, sir. Come left, 90 degrees, please. Come left, 90 degrees, Mr. Left full runner, Helton. Left full runner, sir. Left full runner, sir. Your gun crew at the station? Yes, sir. Maximum effort, Captain. I can remember, sir. Let me have eight rounds, please. Fire eight rounds on the board, sir. Eight rounds. Are you prepared to fire depth charges, Captain? Yes, sir. Maximum speed, sir. Fire the starboard charge, please. Stand by to fire the starboard jump charge. Stand by to fire the starboard jump charge. Well, 
Was he? Was he Lusky, was it? No. Was he fast? Yes, sir. I, I, I see you have quick promotions on this ship. Well, yes, yes, we, we do. Wartime time we... conditions, I suppose. <laughs> yes, sir, yeah. Yes, well, I'm glad to see you've learned to speak English. Yes, sir, thanks. It's a little warm there, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, sir, warm. <laughs> never saw anything like it in the whole life. We keep it running, sir. Yeah, yeah, so I see. You can also hang by your belt from the doorknob and kick the transom open with your feet. But I don't advise it, Chief. Amazing. Uh, who's in charge of your deck crew, Captain? The boys, sir. Larrabee. Larrabee? Well, is that you, George? Yes, sir. Well, I wouldn't have recognized you. I'm a little older, sir. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're a little more diplomatic, too. I remember the that time. That was your you... first command, sir. Yeah, so it was. <laughs> that was a rough one. I must have been pretty green. Almost as green as that. Uh, well, you may resume normal speed, Captain. Yes, sir. Will you inform the watch officer closing normal speed? Yes, sir. Uh, good to see you, George. Good to see you. Thank you, sir. Would the Admiral care for some refreshments, sir? Yeah. Yeah, I would. All right. Okay, Mr. Barney. Cut her down. Tony! You can cut it. What? Hey, hey, Chuck, Chuck, what are you doing there? I want to see how my hors d'oeuvres went. Hors d'oeuvres? The throttles are frozen. Frozen? Yeah. The throttles are frozen? Bill, look! Dr. Witcher, sir, sir, sir. <laughs> Throttles are fro frozen. Frozen. Hey, Skipper. Have him pull the burner. I told him to pull the burners. Well, the time to disconnect the shaft. I told him that the, the, the bypass valve is frozen. 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 
down there, Charlie. From the tickets to Iowa. Oh, you can't tell. Skipper, maybe you don't it's just. Suppose it's the Navy E for excellence, do you? Well, base headquarters, sir. Lieutenant John A. Harkness, USNR, commanding PC 11. Directed to appear before a board of inquiry at 1100 hours. Well, it prolongs the agony, but I guess the result's the same. You don't suppose that private laundry... We'll have a uniform for you in an hour, sir. Thanks, Larrabee. Sir, I'd like permission to attend the board proceedings with you. You? Why? Well, me and Ryan and a couple of the other guys talked it over. you done everything you could. I could testify to that. And besides, I know the Admiral since he was a pup. Maybe I can... Could... The order says me alone. But it's nice to know I can speak for all of us. And with the exception of the two chief petty officers, not one of the 76 officers and men had any experience to speak of until six months ago. Just why they were expected to run it, I don't know. But I do feel they deserve some consideration from this I board, I appreciate sir. your defense of your crew, mister. However, no one's done anything about them yet. May I suggest you contain yourself till after you've heard the findings? I'm sorry, sir. But my Navy experience is I somewhat limited. I appreciate that you're not regular Navy, mister. Before I go into the findings of this board, I have something to tell you that as a reserve officer may interest you. Just before this board was convened, I received a message from the Secretary of the Navy. It concerned the naval engagement which has been going on for the past three days in Midway Island in the Pacific. The secretary reports a clean sweep for us. All in all, we probably had over 100,000 naval personnel involved. Do you know how many were reservists, mister? No, sir. About 95%. Men like you, your officers and your crew, that's what the Navy's made up of, mister. The Army and the Air Force, too. Ordinary men that we get and we try to train as quickly as possible. 
As you may have noticed, our equipment is somewhat complicated. We try to gear it to the training, the experience of the men using it. Do you see what I mean? I... I'm beginning to, sir. We could have put a crew of experts aboard your ship, Harkness. But all that would have proved was the experts could run it. Not you and your crew. Now as to the findings. I can hardly say the trial run was a success. Yet in the way it was. We find that this engine is not adaptable to vessels of the PC class. A uh, conclusion that you may have reached yourself. But the record of your trials has convinced us that this engine can be used efficiently and effectively in another type of craft. What type, sir? That's uh, top secret. We'll try and keep you off it, Harkness. Now, for the efforts that were put into these trials and for your crew's ability to uh, improvise, the Secretary of the Navy has instructed me to read them this letter of recommendation. But under the circumstances, I think perhaps they'd prefer to hear it from their own skipper. I believe that's in order. Thank you, sir. To the officers and men of the PC-1168, for services as set forth in the following. Comment. Holy smoke! It's a diesel! It's a diesel! How about that? Ten by the cast off. Hey, don't forget, Wazalewski. Stay in shape. Yes, sir. What's he talking about? What's he carrying? He's got me lined up to defend the base against the Quantico Marines when we get back. An interbase fight. That's terrific. The tea kettle rides again. That's yeah, sensational. You know who the Marines got? Who? Barney Ross. Cast off number two line. Cast off number two line. Cast off the bow line. Cast off the bow line. Let's get it. All right, no boy, what's all you? Say, what's the rush? The rush is you're in the Navy and not in some pool room. Now get on it before I belt. Yes, sir. All clear boats. All clear boats, sir. All engines one third ahead. What are the orders, Skipper? Resume position and task force and report to the flagship. Aye, aye, sir. 